Water slowly starting to come down on some of the most heavily traveled roads in our area. Parts of Kelly Drive, they're still closed because of the mess that all that water created and left behind. NBC 10's Randy Gyllenhaal live in East Falls. Randy, this is going to be yet another headache for some drivers. Yeah, hoping it gets open by the morning rush, but we're at 6 o'clock now. Kelly Drive still closed. The good news, Philadelphia Water Department crews and Streets Department crews are out here now doing some work, clearing debris and uh, getting the mud off the road. However, the water is gone. It has receded. The river levels on the Schuylkill remain pretty high still. The Schuylkill crested at 12 feet yesterday. That was enough to send water into low-lying parts of the river trail in Kelly Drive. This happened two times in December as well during rainstorms during this strange winter, and we could be on tap for yet another minor flooding event on Friday. It all leaves people who live around East Falls annoyed and wondering why this feels like it's happening over and over. Every time it rains really hard, it's just, it's just flooding like this. So, I mean, what else can you do? I mean, unless you got to redo the roads, but that's probably not going to happen. Well, this water department crew you're seeing here is clearing some of the storm drains, making it so that the drainage will be better, hopefully for Friday's storm, when we could see even more rain. Uh, the streets department will also spend some time getting the debris out of the road, like branches and stuff that floated downstream. Uh, at this point, though, Kelly Drive still closed as people need to use it to get to Center City for this morning rush. For now, we're live in East Falls. Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News.